This is the battery pack on a 2006 Toyota Prius with 155,000 miles. That's the little computer there in the center that goes with the battery pack. The orange thing over there, that's the disconnect plug and that's where you unplug it to disconnect the battery. I took out all these connections so the batteries are all, the cells are all separated from the car at the moment. Those are some of the connectors that hook up 28 8 volt cells in series to make a 24 volt battery system. I put a plastic tube underneath the corner of the battery so I can get to these screws underneath right here. Every other one has a screw on the positive side. You see these batteries are positive and negative. I replaced this battery that says 7.2 because it was sitting for a couple of years. I got them from my friend. After I charged it up, it held a stable charge of 8.2. The other one I replaced was reading 6.5 so that after sitting for a couple of years I had stabilized at 7.12 volts and after I charged it it stabilized and held at 8.25 volts. Right now I have these two brand new jump starters from Costco hooked up in series to make a 24 volt charger. So right now I just finished charging the entire bank and all 28 cells are synchronized at about 8.2 volts each. I just charged the last one because when I charged them I made these little jumpers and here's a wiring diagram on how you can charge an entire Prius battery right there. That's how to charge an entire Prius battery with our homemade 24 volt charger with these two Costco jump starters. Right now I've just finished topping off the last one. And you can see it's stabilized at almost 13 volts. So when I made this, the dark lines represent nine batteries. When hooked in series, each set of three cells hooked in series makes nine cells of 24 volts each. And then I hook those nine cells in series so I can charge the entire battery bank and recondition all the cells to be equal in voltage. Except you see there's one left over because 3 times 9 is 27. So now I just chose the weakest battery. The last one left was number 13 and I tied it in with number 1 and 2 and I'm charging, I just finished charging that at 24 volts. And so that series of number one, two, and 13, as you can see, is synchronized to make one 24 volt battery. Let's hook to this charger here. There's the positive side hooked to number 13. Here's the negative side hooked to number one. And you can see the two clamps together made a 24 volt charger because I hooked these two Costco battery packs in series to make a 24 volt charger because I didn't have one and I didn't want to buy a bona fide 24 volt charger for 150 bucks that only charges 24 volts and nothing else. This is a little 12 volt charger 
and it is hooked up to the Prius battery here in the back to top it off because every time I'm working the light goes on and it drains that Prius battery. That's the Prius battery hooked to this charger right there. You can see it. So I just topped it off. And if we want to see the percentage of the charge, it's charged at 95% right now. And it's just maintaining because I plugged it in last night at 3 a.m. Stabilized it. No. 14.2 volts. So, since I didn't have a workshop, I just did this in the car. And I removed battery number 28 and number 13. No, number uh, 20, I mean. And that's the battery I replaced it with that I got from my friend. It had sat for two years. The batteries he gave me, previous batteries sat for two years, so they stabilized at 7.12 volts. And after I boosted them up, they came out to 8.2 volts each and stabilized. So I changed only two cells. Cell number 20 and cell number 28. I wrote down that it stabilized at 8.2 volts each. 8.2 volts and 8.25 volts. So, that's my workshop in the back of the car. And I first opened up the battery last week. I just wrote down the current charge on each battery and you can see that battery number 20 was reading 6.69 volts and battery 28 was reading 7.78 all the other batteries were reading about 8 volts so I just changed two cells only okay. That's how you can make a workshop out of the back of your Prius if you don't have a workshop. Because it was drizzling yesterday. And I did this in the back of the car because I didn't want to work in the rain with no workshop. Uh, let's see. How about... That's the end. When Phil Kelly, with my own designed Prius battery charger made out of two jump starters. So that's how you charge a 224 volt Prius battery all one time with a 24 volt charger by using this wiring diagram right there. see where we connected the different groups of batteries in series and in parallel. So we charge the entire battery with a 24 volt charger at one time and all the battery cells are all synced together. It has one left over. And I just charged that last one that's left over, number 13 in the center. linking it up with number one and two to make a three eight volt batteries make a 24 volt battery so I charged it so they're all synchronized I'll see how long it takes to just put all the screws in put all this back together so it's hooked to the car and I'll put the plug in see how it likes to start hopefully the battery computer didn't get damaged when this car broke down two weeks ago. There it is. The 
minutes of your review.